Okay, so this uh, will be part one of the video to how to import your footage into Adobe Premiere. So it's very simple is that if you go to your uh, start menu and you will go and find to say Premiere. And then you will select probably into the other lab, say Adobe Premiere Pro CS5, 64 bits. That's what you want to use. So the first thing is that you want to go and just uh, in the left hand panel, that's where you import all your project, what you need to put in. The middle panel is the actual, like the uh, where you have the effects. We're not going to do any effects so far because it's just B rolls. The top right hand side, that's the actual where the DVD plays, that's like a TV monitor. The actual bottom left is actually where the effects we're going to use that later on but not in this because of the b-rolls and this is like the timeline that's where the magic actually happens so let's go in and just import our footage double click onto this part i am just going to use a sample just to show you then you would probably have like five different kind of footage over here for your five angles minimum you click and drag into the timeline bump it up to here and then you have that part and if you press on the space bar then it starts to play okay you can hear that hopefully then what you want to do is that what you're going to be commonly used is just that if you look at the footage right now I'm going to put that I'll uh, scroll that you can see the actual footage okay I'll put the audio off because I don't want to hear any sounds for coming out so you see like this footage is actually smaller than what I chose for you guys it could probably be bigger than the actual uh, TV monitors so if you right click onto the actual footage you will have this option says scale to frame size I'll do that In my case it went bigger for you guys you're probably gonna go smaller so that's one you want to do for second we probably the most common one you're gonna use is that you want to cut parts that you have the 10 second you might have like some part where it wasn't done correctly or you want to cut out so on the bottom right hand side you have the razor tool which is like the cut tool if you can see the hotkey is C that's what I use so I press on the keyboard C it changes to the cut tool excuse me and then you see that, that little dotted line that's where it's going to happen so the best thing to do is that you move your scrubber that's the actual blue scrubber where you need to cut and then you click and you see like now I created a cut for the video and the audio because those are two links together so I'll go in here and let's say yeah I want to cut still again now you want to move out of the cut you can actually just go to the bottom right use the selection tool or press on the V onto your keyboard and that will actually let you select so in this case I want to delete this part like uh, if I wanted to delete the middle part let's say press on delete on your keyboard and then it's moved on now that's not the best way to do the delete but anyways, that's one way to do it. I'll show you a better way. So I'll press on Control Z. That's a, your favorite friend. Control Z to undo. If you click on the part that you don't want, right click on it and it says Ripple Delete. Remember that Ripple Delete because watch what happens to the footage. It deletes the part that you don't want and it moves every video that's after into actually connect together. And that's super important to have these two together. Okay? So that's the part that you probably going to need so far I don't think you'll need anything else so in the next video I'll show you how to export it into a, into a format that you can play anywhere okay